all smiles. <laughs> all smiles now. Welcome to the Gosport Half Marathon video race vlog that we did in November a few weeks ago, uh, 2023. Gosport Half Marathon is down on the south coast, right on the seafront. It's a Hampshire Road Race League Series event, so it attracts a pretty big field of people. It's a two loop course, you run out onto the road, um, heading west, and then you loop back round and then you come back along down the seafront do that a couple of times and then come back into the finish. Um, uh, it was a lovely day, as in nice bright blue sky, but super windy, super exposed on the seafront there. So uh, plan was, was out there, it was a bit of a pacer. So we were looking at trying to run a 1.25 uh, with a couple of the guys. They'd run uh, 128 and a bit before, so plan was to try and um, sit in um, and yeah, go for the go for the 125. But uh, I think the wind. We all kind of knew going into the start of this one that it was going to be a tough, tough ask. But we made our way down the front. What got was near down the front as we. We kind of want, we don't want to go too far back in races like this. It's, it's important, especially if you're trying to run a bit of a time, and try and get in with a decent group of people, share the work, especially on days like that, where the weather's a bit ropey. When idea was to keep things pretty cruisy, get in with a bit of group of people if we could, and uh, stay out the wind. First five k's, pretty much into the wind all the way to get to the turn point. So uh, lots of groups to try and settle in with. A lot of them uh, not sure on that first couple of miles how evenly paced they're running or how they're doing the pace their ability. But 125. And one third, or going for one twenty-five. Hopefully, you can have some um, runners out there that are running pretty consistently, and especially trying to aim for a sub one thirty is especially a popular time. So we just tried to keep things nice and smooth if we could, and where we could get in with groups and, and get out the wind as much as possible. As we turn down. Down the seafront, the uh, the wind is kind of off your right hand shoulder, off your back, but a bit of a crossy wind as well. But the groups in front, the guys in front of us took off, um, probably gapped us by a couple of hundred metres. We'd kept the pace pretty solid all the way down there, knowing that you're going to have to put a big effort in when you, you make the turn into that wind when everything's a bit more splintered. So uh, we didn't push too hard down here, just kept, kept the rhythm, kept moving nicely. Um, save as much energy as possible and yeah the gap sort of grew to a decent amount but uh, I knew we'd see a lot of them later on in the race you get down to the business end of things at um, you know, 10 miles in 16k when you need to still be moving well so we just kept cruising So as we came down to that halfway point before you turn to go back into it, um, there was a, a, a huge, huge whack in the face when we turned around that cone and into that wind. Yeah, my heart rate probably jumped up from sort of high 140s, um, probably jumped up, you know, seven or eight beats a minute just in the first couple of hundred meters once we once we got settled into that wind. So we were working hard along that, that stretch of mile seven, eight, nine. Um, the guys did really well to, to stay in there, keep the legs moving and it's, it was digging to maintain the pace into that wind was a considerable amount, far more effort. Uh, that group in front that ran off, we, we started going past people, wheels were falling off all over the place. 
and um, we just kept trying to get people to jump on the back as we kind of ticked by and we just kept ticking the next people off you know one by one and really we're just aiming for that end of the seafront before we turned again yeah so we were moving pretty well we're coming down the seafront a couple of little bits of gravel we had to run over and the wind was kind of swirling off that shoulder even more a little bit of drizzle in the air it was it was a good end to it we, we were moving pretty solidly and still keeping pace we were still catching up with people a couple of people we'd settled in at the same pace as us which was quite nice so we just kept on ticking it out ticking it along you know getting up the mile get within that last couple and then you can start thinking about the finish yeah so once we got within about a mile there was probably about five or six people seven maybe all kind of running a similar similar pace we caught up the couple and people were tagged on the back so we were all moving quite well at this point just trying to give whatever you've got left as you turn into the finish there's a sort of 400 meter bit of road you go before you look around the corner and you actually see the finish but worked hard coming down there would have been the fastest mile of the day so that was good stuff really good stuff and yeah pushed hard and came over the line in a really good time last little push guys done well we had a really good group there's about three or four that had run with us the whole way um,